we will be automating the combination of multiple Excel worksheets by using PyWin 3 tool. Note that this Python library only can be used on a Windows laptop. So today, we will be combining 25 Excel workbooks, which each workbook is named with the name of state and followed by the date. There are 5 months of data generated from May to September. Let me quickly show you how the workbooks look inside. Okay, so in the workbook, the table is formatted. Every worksheet has the same preset format, like the auto filter, auto fit, and condition formatting. Other than that, there are five columns in each workbook. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to combine these 25 workbooks into five workbooks according to the date, which means found with the same date will be combined into one workbook and then saved into another folder called combine. For this operation, we are using the copy method under worksheet object. You may refer to the Office VBA reference for the object, method, and properties available in Excel. The link will be provided in the description below. That's all for the introduction. Now, let us begin. The first example is to copy one worksheet from one workbook to another existing workbook. This example is to show you how the copy method works. The first step is to import libraries and create the Excel object. Win32.com is the library we will be using. To combine the Excel workbook. Forflip is used to return the current working directory. Then we will be opening the relevant workbooks. In this example, we are copying a workbook named Binang 9 from Binang 2019 September 1 to an existing workbook named Saba 2019 September 1. After the workbooks are open, we can start the operation of copying the worksheet. For this operation, we use the copy method from worksheets object. The last step is to use the save or save as method to save the process workbook. Cross method is used to cross the Excel workbook, while quick method is to quit the Excel object created with Python. Putting all these lines together and quick run. Okay, so we just copy the worksheet from one workbook to another within 3 seconds. The original files are saved in the sample folder. After combining the workbooks, they will be saved in the combined folder. Same with the first example, there are four steps needed to combine the unified workbooks, which are import libraries, group the file names into lists according to the criteria, combine the workbooks according to list, and lastly, set up parameter and run the script. The regular expression RE library is needed to identify the date in the file names. The OS library is used to list all the files in the folder. As this example is to combine 25 file books by using OX, we can avoid the need to type out all the file names. This function is to group the files according to the date in the file name and save them to combine list. For each file name, we will compile a pattern on it with regular expression as shown in the screen. In the line, we want to identify the state name and the date which is a number with 8 digits from the file name. The x variable will return the search results by using group. We can select any part in the text to use. The index starts from 0. The 0 refers to the whole text. Then, index 1 refers to the first parenthesis, which is the state name in this example, while index 2 refers to the second parenthesis, which is referring to the date. The if else condition is used to save the first date gotten as a reference date, then compare it to the rest of the date in the file names. Each match will be saved to the file list as a tuple. Then, the tuple will be appended to the main list which is combined list. Every file name that is added to the combined list will be added to use file name. The while loop will be continued until the length of use file name is equal to the initial list. File name list. A group of file name list files have been created in the beginning and used as the criteria for for loop. Every time a file name is added to use file name, it will be removed from files, so there will be no duplication. This function is to copy the worksheet from one workbook to another. The if else condition is to identify if there are any workbooks open. It will open the first workbook and save it as WB1 if there are none, else it will open the second workbook and save it as WB2. Then, 
the worksheet in WB2 will be copied to WB1. The inner for loop is to combine the workbooks in the same F list. Then the outer loop is to move to the next F list when the process is done. The file name list is the list of the files which need to be combined. The original workbooks are saved in a folder named sample file, while the combined workbooks are saved in a file named combine. Both folders are located in the same directory. Okay, now let us try to run the scripts. The workbooks will be opened and combined as the scripts run. When the process is done, there will be only 5 workbooks left. One workbook for one date. In each workbook, there will be 5 worksheets from a different state. After the operation is done, the combined workbooks will be saved in the combined folder. That's all for automating combination of Excel worksheets. You may find the reference links in the description below. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe, like, and share. Bye!